Don't all that fun stuff. don't everybody jump forward to volunteer to go first at once. I'll go first. I was doing the closing thing. I said everybody like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, we got you know you know damn well what we have to do before that. We spread love in this house. I started using those outside of the EV too. It's great. <laughs> Kimber, go ahead and start us off. Uh, Tapartos already started. I'll I'll read I'll read Ian's before okay. I go. Don't worry about it. All right, great. Okay. Um, I really loved. <laughs> I love the whole spider tunnels thing. There was a lot there. I loved, oh, this is technically last session, but I'm gonna compliment uh, uh, okay. Hero Nook anyway. I loved Anook and Garagank interacting with the spiders. I just, it was so much fun. You guys clearly were like, we're just gonna do this and see what happens and, and hope that it works out. And it worked out pretty well. Yeah, that was a lot of fun to see. You guys did. Definitely kept your cool weight better than I did. <laughs> and I, I compliment you for that. I'm not going to compliment myself for freaking out about that. <laughs> um, I am going to, I instantly felt like a direness that Harlan has never really felt in his life <laughs> until he entered this temple with like a, a ghost and uh, some like computer or something like talking to him. Like, there was definitely a, a lot of new stuff for him in this temple, and I I liked exploring it. I particularly enjoyed conveying it. Um, I'm excited to see where it goes. I will popcorn it to uh, Zach. Oh, wow. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as much as I hated it, Tempard just kind of trying to stab the ghost was <laughs> very Tempard. <laughs> like, it was just, hey, there's a spirit. My knife likes spirits. Stab it. <laughs> like, it was, it was so, like, we were all like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, this could totally fuck up whatever we have to do here. But it was so Tempard, and it was, it was just entertaining. It's, like, I do the same stuff a lot where Tumbles just kind of does things. Like, I kind of just went through the portal out of nowhere. It's just like, oh, it's open. Cool. Bye. And I, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Uh, so thank you, Tempo. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, for me, I know I did a lot. But I guess the only thing I truly liked about today was listening to everyone's initial questions, finding out what could and couldn't be answered, and then just asking very specific questions and just kind of like figuring out what we were, we're not allowed to know is something I feel like Tumult would do a lot just because th that's how you test the limit limits of knowledge is you, you go as far as you can until you can't go anymore. And then you just pursue the next angle. So the questions I asked, I felt were pretty good for what I wanted. And I felt like what we needed, uh, but could be wrong. And pop it over to, let's give it over to Tempard. I will start with, uh, Ian, I'm sorry that you're not feeling great, but I'm really glad you were here. Uh, this would have been interesting to do without you, to say the least. And so even if you couldn't talk, the fact that you still participated via typing, I'm very thankful for and I'm glad you were here. Uh, as for me, I, I, people can hate me for this. I still feel like I didn't do a whole lot, but there are some things that I did that I will compliment myself on, even though I don't think it's much. Lysander liked Tempard's idea. <laughs> it was a cult. <laughs> Nobody has ever liked Tempard's ideas in full, but Lysander was like, yeah, that's a pretty okay idea. Let's go with it. And then so decided to stay out with Tempard. And I just really appreciated that. <laughs> a lot. I had a good idea for once. That was nice. <laughs> um, I will popcorn it to Devon. I like the continuous, like, Crawl between Kamal and Holden, like that's just like at this point so subtle, but like constant, and it's it's great every time it comes up. I also like how to be, no matter what kind of problem it is, the answer is pull from last bag of tricks, and there's just always some 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 way that that helps us, and I really like it. Like this time it was the lion triggering the trap. Yeah, wait till dawn and I can pull again. It's obviously Ileana. Um, I I I like. I like how I'm trying to like continue to like roleplay her as yeah. I think she would play. Um, like she's still like you know real young, so she would want to like 
while everyone's still kind of debating it, be the first to like cast light on her shield and just go into the tunnel. Just just go. I mean, as a player, I wouldn't do that as a squishy. No way. I'm going in like in, in, in the middle or like last. I'm just kind of trying to like role play her as like as she like rows and loans and gets more comfortable with the body. Um I'll cut coming over to uh, no. Okay. Um there was a, actually a lot today to compliment. A lot of different people did lots of different things, whether they think so or not. I, however, am going to compliment our DM. Yeah, you provided a, a quandary and a puzzle for myself to a point where I was seriously debating whether or not I had <laughs> to speak up and sacrifice myself at various points in in this session whether or not i would flat out just say i am hanuk uh anuk iti i come from a line of giants and i declare myself even though i don't want it to be leader of the ordining i tell you i was so close to saying those lines like five or ten times just from the way things were going and to the point where i had slowly edged myself into the center of the circle just because of the way things were working out and you provided that opportunity for all of us to work in that and really make a tense situation to the point where I felt I almost I, I would have had to sacrifice myself to to do that I almost almost did it several times um, however I will compliment myself on the whole spider thing was just was just a lark it really was it was so much fun and you know it is well within a nook's character to just make new animal friends and oh you want to join us well okay come on uh just wait until you meet my friend george you'll really like him you know that kind of thing yeah so i think that whole role play with this with the with the spiders was like a place for me to shine as as a nook, and then I will popcorn it to Garagak. All right, <laughs> for myself, that is definitely the spider stuff. That was a lot of fun. I think I played Garagak pretty well in that. I see a nook turn into a spider, and I'm like, oh, me too. <laughs> so I just turn into a spider and start following your lead. Uh, that was good fun. And then I was also going to give it to Alex for designing Dandy Basher because I love Dandy Basher. It's so fun. <laughs> Every time I crit on anything, I get super excited. I'm just like, what's going to happen? And then I will throw it at... Who hasn't gone yet? Oh, Dash. I'll give it to Dash. I think it's just me as well. Okay. Um, what was I part of? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tapartos has it his is, written, mm -hmm. and somebody will just need to re read that out. Yeah. Um, my shout out is going to go to uh, Rob this session. Yes, all the spider shenanigans was fun and interesting, and that's awesome. And I loved hearing about Anuk's like inner turmoil in the actual like oracle chamber itself in the eye. I suppose. I think the biggest thing for me that stuck out for Anuk was the debate with the barbarian of just kind of coming upon something that caused Anuk such great pain and probably one of the first things that took Anuk's family away from him, even though it was fixed. And just kind of having that debate and I saw it like in you of just kind of being like, which way am I going with Anuk in this? And even like you rolled a die for it to a certain degree, but like you weighted the percentages of like Anuk is more likely than not to destroy this person and I think that shows a lot of interesting amazing character thought put into Anuk so that was fantastic to see and even like it did come down to a roll of a die but like playing down the rest of it of like cool it's very unlikely Anuk will forgive not very unlikely but a lesser chance Anuk will forgive and like the consequences this does for Anuk as a character and like the conversations it will maybe eventually bring up when we have a pause from fixing the world is super interesting. And I commend you on that. For myself, I think it's a lot of my forethought and by proxy, obviously, Lysander's forethought of like 
the willingness to put himself out there for his friends of just even the little bit of like, I'll fucking trigger the trap if you want to figure out what the hell's going down there. I didn't. I got hit by it anyway. This temple has not been, the temple physically itself has not been kind to Lysander. Everything in it, he's gotten off scot free. The traps haven't liked him. But like that little bit and just the like forethought and the questions as well of like trying to figure out what was going on with Zephyros, even though we didn't fully get an answer and trying to find the most useful information there. That felt good. And I am proud of that. Y'all are great. I love you so much. Each and every one of you. I just have nothing but love for. Is somebody going to read out Ian's? Yeah, I am. I said I would. Just making sure. Uh, Ian's compliment starts with uh, or be a thick red paste on the floor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, oh, the the next thing. That's the. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, mm-hmm. No, uh, Ian says uh, I loved watching both Garagak and Anuk having fun being spider friends with each other. Your playfulness and willingness to just exist within the joy of the mechanics behind your character is such a joy to be a part of. Especially when Garagak, with no hesitation, starts eating the man's face <laughs> alongside Anuk because that's just what spiders do, apparently. I also loved watching Harlan just freak the fuck out in the tunnels while being way out of his depth. Uh, Agree. That's a good one. I'm proud of myself for working within my restrictions today. It was definitely hard to have to rely on others glancing at what I typed to get a voice in the session, but I was able to have a lot of fun taking a step back, and I thought I still did some great role play regardless of those limitations. I'm also proud I figured out the puzzle. Yay! Yay! I also want to shout out Lysander, who threw a total wrench at me with the roleplay of offering me up for the ordining. But it was roleplayed so well, I almost threw myself in the flame, and it's going to shape the course of my character. It's going to shape the course of my character, which just goes to show how in time you are, how in tune you are, Dash, to all of our characters and your own individual thoughts and feelings on them. You're a fantastic roleplayer. Sorry for the end there. D- Dyslexia is a real bitch. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to go. As. I I am a, a a person who perpetually will will uh, stick to the the uh, motto of commit to the bit, but you take that <laughs> to just an absurd level, and I I I simultaneously love and hate that about you, um, and and specifically about Tempard. Oh no, that's something I do too. <laughs> It's just the constant willingness to do the most chaotic option at any given time. (laughs) The, the lack of hesitation in you playing your character is phenomenal there. You are, you are ready to be a, just a being of chaos at any given moment. And it, it makes for some ridiculousness. But it makes for for showing Tempard as a character. Uh, the fact that it was, you see a ghost. I stab the ghost because that's a spirit, and I want that soul in my knife. It's it's one it's one of those things that it's like. That's just that's just what Tempard would have done. That's that's how it goes. Meet new friend. Ask them to join the dump clan. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 those little things that you do that that show Tempard as a character, and I I do think that Tempard is is showing character growth as you play. It's not the big drastic swing that people expect from narratives, right? It's not, it's not that, that moment that shifts you to being a new and better person. It's, it's the slow rolling type of change that is realistic. It's, it's, the, it's the type of change that goes, it, it takes time. It, it takes, it is very rare in life that one moment will truly change who a person is, right? Generally, generally, it's these big, crazy, tra- traumatic experiences that, that are going to make those changes. But you're playing Tempard very well in a way that that growth is slow. It shows at some points and it is completely out the window at other points because that's how people work. It adds a layer of realism to your character that I admire. And it shows how good of a role player you are, despite what you may think of yourself. So I'm very proud of you for that. Devin. Ileana is, it, I'm, I'm going to kind of stick with the same compliment for you. Your, your character is growing. Your character is is coming into her own, and the way you play her is phenomenal. Little moments, little interactions. It, it's it's continually showing that Ileana ha, is is growing more comfortable. Like you like you said for yourself, it's it's showing those moments of comfort coming through, and those are good things. I'm going to give a two part compliment to you though. 
Ileana's character and how you're playing her is amazing, but I want to commend you on being more confident in yourself as a role player. You, when we first started playing, you were very much so a quiet background player. And today you were interjecting, you were making sure your voice was heard. You were making sure that you were getting your points across. And I know that's really hard, right? Like that's a, that's a hard thing to do. So I just, I just wanted to make sure you got a shout out for that, that I'm really proud of you for coming into your own in that regard. And that's, that's just like dev, you as a person, I'm very proud of you for that. Kimber, I love you so much. So, so much. Uh, man, you, <laughs> I, I know what you were expecting coming into this, right? This is, this is a D and D show. This is people that are trying to, to do this, put it out there for the world to see. This is going to be in character. This, this is going to be the, the, the critical role, high roller, like those kinds of things that people are trying to emulate, right? Not to that extreme, for sure. None of us are those people. I, if I start thinking about that comparison, I will shut myself into a, a, a shell that I will never escape from. But <laughs> still, it's one of those things. And I think, I think today... <laughs> really showed you the true colors of what this group is and, and the ridiculousness that follows. And I think you played Harlan really well as a person who, or as, as like, if you were in Harlan's shoes, right, you were given this mission that is literally, we're here to save the world. And then for two hours of this time that you were being paid to accomplish a mission, you fucked off into some spider tunnels and accomplished nothing productive uh and it just yeah. kind of it kind of spiraled from there and and you you played harlan very well way that it was consistent hero don't look at me like that we made a friend you did make a friend you did that and i'm really happy that you did again what did i say earlier <laughs> it's 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 the realist versus the idealists and right thank you for that uh, for saying that a week ago whenever we talked about it but yeah it's so, it's continue. yeah no it's i just i wanted to compliment you because i know i know you as kimber like <laughs> this is not what you expected but you're rolling with <laughs> <laughs> right but you're rolling with it with your character really well and i want to applaud you for that it is this is <laughs> trust me i know how frustrating the chaos of this group can be <laughs> You were not here for the dark times. You you were not here for the I'm going to recruit that goblin. What? I'm recruiting that goblin. Okay, bitch, roll for it. Natural 20s. Every time I shit you not people at home. Every fucking time. Every time. Yeah. Oh god. So I get it. I I get where where your heads at with those things. But your perseverance and your your you did stick in your character. You did role play in those moments, and it shows that you are a tremendous role player. And especially considering the not like lack of experience, but the little experience that you have comparatively in D and D and in role play in general, it it is a huge credit to you, man. I am I am so drastically proud of you and how far you've come as a role player, even in the brief time that I've known you and we've been playing together. You're phenomenal you're absolutely phenomenal thank you i lost my place dash you we have a new setup we have so much shit going on that uh my computer exploded i think i said that last last episode too uh my computer exploded so the only computer we have in our apartment right now is dashes so for me to be able to access all of the things that i need to run the game dash is sitting in our living room with their phone on a tripod, my five, six-year-old Chromebook hooked up to one of my computer monitors, and that is what they're running off of. But despite all of that, you were still here. You were still focused. You were still getting your input. And I know it was a lot harder because it's it's how audio works, right? Like you you were m more quiet than you are usually. So it's it's harder to interject yourself in those situations but you did a very good job of making sure that you were heard, making sure that your points got across and making sure that your character was still a big part of this story at a major junction point. So I, I guess my comment for you is your, your perseverance. I, I envy it. I could not do what you're doing in any capacity. I would have given up so long ago. <laughs> I would have made it 20 minutes and been like, nope, fuck this shit. You guys go on without me. So I'm, I'm just 
I am grateful and I am, I, I am envious of the amount of patience and perseverance you have to put up with this stuff. Thank you for doing what you do and being who you are. Coda man. I'm going to give you two compliments. Okay. Uh, one, you jumped into your role playing with Anuk as a spider and you just threw yourself in there and you did that. And you made, you, you were making your points as Garagak. And it, it was just, it was very in character. It was very good. You're constantly improving as a role player. You're constantly, you're constantly making those plays to, to make sure that your character is there. Uh, and even like you said, you're, t- you're super fucking tired tonight, right? Like it's, that's a thing. Like it, it saps your energy. It makes it harder to do those things, but you still did them. And that's an incredible sign that you're, you're here, you're focused, you're ready to go. I am incredibly impressed with you constantly. You constantly amaze and astound me. So thank you very much for letting me DM you. I love it. Zach. Go ahead and skip it. It's a lie. <laughs> Zach, uh, your brain was full of wrinkles today. Big old wrinkly brain. You had a lot of... What are the exact left <laughs> you to do of this location? I have <laughs> never... I have never... Folks at home, I have been DMing for 15 years. I have never once had a question catch me so off guard and flabbergast me as hard... <laughs> <laughs> as what are the exact longitude and latitude coordinates of the last place this guy was standing there was seven different things that i had to process all at once and my brain the the fucking gerbil in there run on that wheel also stopped and looked out of my eyes at zach and was like what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> and that's amazing <laughs> That is phenomenal. I am not mad or like upset with you in any capacity. That was amazing. And that is just one of many amazing questions and amazing big brain plays you made today. All while maintaining your character and also doing stupid shit at the same time. <laughs> it was, it was, I love Tumult. I love you. I love how you play your character it's amazing it's absolutely amazing very well done that's what i mean by lies no it's not a lie it's great uh (laughs) ian i really want our 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 compliment session between you and i to be a back and forth okay so i need you to verbally respond to me with everything that i say i'm just kidding don't do it don't do it i don't want you to hurt yourself I care about you too much. And also, I don't want to have to do this again next week. So fix your shit. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know. Um, no, Ian, you stuck through two full episodes of recording with no voice and with your only source of communication being me. Uh, and we all know how extremely focused I am at all times. But the fact that you stuck with it, you were in a moment that I was, I was, I was really worried about. 100%. I was... I had no idea how the conversation with the Oracle was going to play out without you being there. Like without, without you having your voice in that conversation, because it pertains to you very, very directly. You stuck with it. You, you were here, you were focused, you were constantly paying attention. You were constantly remarking about everything that was happening and you were, you were being involved. And the fact that you were, you weren't able to verbally communicate anything but I didn't feel a lack of departos in any capacity throughout the night. It, it is just a, I compliment you on your performance all the time, right? I constantly talk about how good of a performer you are, how good of a role player you are. You are showing that you are the ideal D and D player to have as a DM that no matter what you're here, you're focused and no matter what's in your way, you're, you're doing your best to be a part of the action. So thank you and extremely well done. I haven't done this in a while, but Hero, I saved you for last. Hero, you did something today that I really want to emphasize. And I think that the biggest part of it is it's something you apologized for. I constantly compliment you on how you play on Nook as a Nook. 
how you sit in the backgrounds of these conversations is you make sure your points are heard. You make sure you're playing your character, doing what your character would do. But today you showed an entirely different side of yourself as a D and D player, as a role player, as a performer. This is the first time since we started playing that you stepped the fuck up. You were taking charge. You were making decisions for everything that was going on. You were the head of the role play. You were in character 100% of the time. You were doing everything that Anuk would have done. And even though this was a, there was multiple heavy points for Anuk throughout this episode, it never, you never faltered. You never, ever stepped out of character. You never took that time to process as hero, as Rob. You never took that time. You were processing as a nook. Every little thing that was happening, you were processing in character, playing in character, making those choices, and maintaining that leadership position throughout both of the recording sessions today, or this throughout the entire recording session, both episodes. You are phenomenal. You blow my mind consistently. And I know you're going to shrug this off and you're like, no, it's, it's not and like you, you have to believe me, man. There's a reason that I wanted to bring this up. You are amazing and you need to give yourself credit for that. Don't apologize for playing your character. Don't apologize for taking the time to step up. Everybody deserves a moment in the spotlight and on Nook, especially every, every person here deserves their chance to be that leader, to be that thing. And today you didn't ask, you didn't say anything to anybody else. You just took it. And sometimes that's what it takes. But you did it, you did it well, and you weren't a dick about it. That's the, that's the biggest part of it. I am so incredibly proud of you today. And I cannot wait to see this side of you come out more and more as we play. For me, this is one of those rare times where I can honestly say, session-wise, I didn't do a whole lot. Not in the fact that I wasn't here, I wasn't doing anything. I didn't write any of this really the one thing that i did for all of our playing today was reginald (laughs) which i was was dumb of me i said the words i'll just come with you and i was like no alex what have you done to yourself what did you just do (laughs) and the oracle i changed everything about how that was supposed to go in the books and i made that decision halfway through the conversations you were having with the oracle uh (laughs) which you know we'll see how that plays out for me but I, I rolled with it, was sitting here updating my, my notes for the next few sessions of like plans and trying to get a, a figure out of what's going on. And I took everything that I had written out and I deleted it at the end of the session. Every plan I had made, because as of right now, I don't know where you're going. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I have zero knowledge of what's about to happen. And I am so prepared for it. We have no idea. Oh, oh, yeah, we all have no clue what the next session's gonna fucking look like. God. I have I my confidence to myself is that I, I I feel confident in myself. And I know it's kind of dumb, right? Like that's that's like a dumb thing to say, but it's not something I ever get to feel. It's never something that I, 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 am, I am there for. I, I'm never, I never feel like I am ready for what comes next or that I, I feel like I can deliver what you guys have come to expect from me at any given time. And right now, today, which everything else gone with me this week aside, like that's, it's amazing to myself. I am, I am proud of myself for believing in me, which <laughs> take that for what it's worth. Also, Side note, I had to pop my camera off for a minute to answer a phone call. I have an audition for a studio in Fort Collins for voiceover work this upcoming week. Yay! And that is also very cool. And I'm also proud of myself for that. So there's two things that I am proud of for myself. Oh, going on that note, I'd like to compliment myself for negotiating my salary and getting an extra 4K out of it. Thank you. Hell yeah, bro. Do that. Uh, <laughs> support the homies. That's right. <laughs> I think that's it for the wrap up. I think we got everybody covered. We got everybody here. Thank you guys at home for watching. Thank you so much for sticking with us through all of this. The last couple episodes were really chaotic. The last one, this one, it's, it's been a clusterfuck, but in all reality, that's who we are as people. And I can only say to expect it more in the future. So 
thank you very much. Very, very much. Bottom of my heart, thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. I'm sure it means the world to my players as well, that you guys are willing to sit and come along through this journey with us. Uh, usual YouTube bullshit. Subscribe, share, like, comment. I don't know what else there is on YouTube. Do those things. That helps. Ring that bell. There you go. Check out Kimber. Yeah, check out Kimber. Twitch. Kimber is going to stream on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Kimber is going to stream. He's wonderful. He's always entertaining. It's always a good time. Hero, check out Hero on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash MacGmania. Uh, thank you guys so much for like the fourth time, and we will see you next week on the Dice That Bind Us. Later, guys. Bye.